Okay, folks. I'm starting here. Nick, what does this got to do with the drought in, in Taiwan? Just, we're going to come back to this. Just remember this. Harp, weather control. Just, just, j just, just stick, just stick with this. High frequency active oral research program. It ain't a research program now. They're, I mean, they are active, been active for years. Electromagnetic warfare capabilities, turning the weather into a weapon. I can flood you. I can freeze you. I can make the storm go away. I can move the weather. I can move. I can move. If the rain is coming your way. I can push it away because I'll, I'll make a denser system over this way. And, you know, when you got uh, po negative pressure versus positive pressure, the positive is going to go to the negative. So I'll call or the, uh, or the positive will push the negative away. So if I want to push it this way, I'll aim it this way. I want to push it that way. This is tenfold hat. It sure the hell is. It sure the hell is. And you can go to History Channel and PBS and Discovery Channel and you can go to all of this stuff. Uh and everything so this is where we're gonna start now let's go to the chip part semiconductor industry statistics imports and exports global sales reach 468.8 billion in sales this is from uh 2020 if i'm not mistaken the global semiconductor market is expected to post a CAGR of close to 9% by 2023. This stat here that you're looking at came before the drought, before the drought in Taiwan. The water, no water, no water, no fresh, clean water, no chip, no silicon production. The semiconductor industry in North and South America totals about 106 billion each year. Samsung generates over 30% of global DRAM sales. Okay? What's that? Look it up. I ain't got and keep it techie, be quiet. Don't you say nothing. I know you know. You, you tech G, ah, be quiet. See over, be quiet. <laughs> Intel holds 13.8% share of global semiconductor revenues. The semiconductor industry in the United States invests approximately 20% of its revenues in the research and development. South Korea accounts for 17% of the world's semiconductor production. China, USA, Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea account for 84% of semiconductor manufacturing equipment sales. Notice what powerhouse ain't in that list. If you said Russia, you're correct. I keep telling y'all I ain't worrying about Russia. But that's a whole different story. I ain't worrying about China either. That's all. Oh, no. Well, I ain't worrying about China as long as somebody play it right. Top 10 largest semiconductor companies in the world by revenue. Now, this is just by how much money they make. This can be, I'm not going to say misleading. I'm not going to say misleading because you see Samsung 44.8%. Um, 44.8 bit, you know, this, that here's the part y'all. Here's the part that a lot of people don't know. Hold on a second. What a lot of people don't know. See this company right here? Without TSMC, half of the, you can cut a big chunk out of everybody's everything because they make circuits, ICs, semiconductors from the silicon and the chips that come from here 
you cut off this, all this is going to suffer. And this is where the drought is. I hope you understand what I'm saying. This is where the drought is. It's not here. Yeah, I mean, California always had whatever. It's not here. Hell, Texas, we is underwater here lately. It's not there. It's not. It's here. This is where the drought is. Pay attention. A continuum, as you see, WSJ. The world relies on one chip maker in Taiwan, leaving everyone vulnerable. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. What did I just show you? TSMC. Dominance poses risk to the global economy amid geopolitical tensions and a major chip shortage. Basically, they're saying if China takes over Taiwan, China uh, by, by proxy will have the world by the balls. Because the United States... Uh, uh, under a, a president that uh, some of y'all was probably little kids when he was in the White House jamming cigars in places that wasn't meant for cigars to go. <laughs> hey, but she liked it. Uh, she smiled. <laughs> Cigar had a strange aroma when I uh, smoked it the next day. Hey, <laughs> That's a wait. That's where that's a wait. This is what's called a wafer. That's a wafer. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Company. Da -da -da. Chips are everywhere, though most consumers don't know it. The company makes almost all of the world's most sophisticated chips and many of the simpler ones, too. And here's the killer part. We have the technology here to do it. Back in the day, a, a couple of the uh, uh, big, the big three and the chip makers here in the United States were pretty much forced offshore uh, due to um, water, due to energy and water costs. The price that it took for them to, to manufacture a chip kept going up, which means the end product would have to go up. So to keep the product to stay competitive, they had to move chip making offshore, and here we are. Now, granted, that was 30, almost 30 years ago, but regardless, here we are. And the thing is, people will bring it back. Why? Because th they're going to do the same thing. California going to pull the same crap. Arizona going to pull the same crap. Nevada going to pull. Texas going to pull the same crap. They're all going to pull the same crap. So what difference does it make? Energy costs, you know, uh, water costs, pr land tax. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, Texas, we don't have an income tax, but Texas has some of the highest property tax rates in the in the nation. Not not the not the highest cost of property. The, the, the high, one of the highest costs of property tax in the nation comes from Texas is here in Texas, but Texas don't have, you don't pay income tax in Texas. So you're going to pay somebody. You just take, uh, instead of paying out of your left pocket, you're paying out of your right pocket. But anyway, let's keep going. TMC has emerged over the past uh, most of the, with enormous influence over the global economy with a market cap of around 550 billion. It ranks as the world's 11th most valuable company. Its dominance leaves the world in a vulnerable position as more technologies requires chips of mind-boggling complexity. More and more, more are coming from this one company and on an island that's a focal point of tensions between the U.S. and China, which claims Taiwan as its own. See, here's the thing, too. Over... Uh, Computers then took over the truck trucking industry. We got ECMs that run the diesel engines. They don't have mechanical fuel injectors no more. They're electronic uh, fuel injectors, which requires an engine control module to run it. You got a cab control module that run all your gauges and everything because they're not mechanical anymore. They're electronic. 
your new vehicles. Now I said, you don't have caps, points, and condensers anymore. You have a computer and an ECM running your car. Everything's electronic. You get new appliances. Your washing machine is talking to your dryer and it's talking to your freaking refrigerator over your Wi-Fi network. I don't have none of that stuff. I keep I keep non non-computerized, non-push button appliances for re I want mechanical controls with buttons and knobs. That's what I have. And even though, yeah, I got new trucks, but guess what? That old truck of mine, that old pre-ECM uh, truck of mine, that one that I keep, people, man, you ought to sell me that truck. No, you ought to go screw yourself. Because at the end of the day, that truck's going to run. It don't need computer parts. It don't, it don't have any on it. None. None. And it look good, too, for an old girl. Analysis says it will be difficult for no, for other manufacturers to kept, catch up in an industry that requires hefty capital investments. I don't believe that because there's so much money out here. It's ridiculous. Uh, T, uh, TSMC can't make enough chips to satisfy everyone. The fact has become even clearer amid a global so shortage due to water, due to the drought. Well, Nick, well, where you get in the drop? You, you'll see. Just, just, just hold on a second. Being dependent on Taiwanese chips poses a threat to the global economy, research firm Capital Economics recently wrote. And you have to remember all these, um, all these uh, economic um, uh, powerhouses, they all got a slight, they all, they all got their own little lean, including the Wall Street Journal. No this, it's just the way it is. Uh, uh, TSMC, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, reported 17.6 billion in profits last year on revenues of about 45.5 billion. So they netted 17.6 out of 45. Uh, technology is so advanced, capital now makes around. Okay, there you go, capital. It, that it now makes around 92% of the world's most sophisticated chips, which have transistors that are less than one thousandth the width of a human hair. Samsung Electronics make the rest. Most of the roughly 1.4 billion smartphone processors worldwide are made by TSMC. Remember what I just said about the, um, I mean, blah, blah. Even though there's a lot of chip sellers out of NVIDIA, Texas Central, they put them together on their circuit boards, on their motherboards, all that other stuff, their CSIs and CSLs, and that's, and then they put their chips on there, configure them to the product that they need, and they sell it to you under their name, under Texas Instruments under Samsung Electra under you 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 see what I'm saying that's how the chip manufacturing game works it's just like the truck world the big truck world now people in cars y'all probably won't get it but the truck guys know it I got a Kenworth Kenworth makes chassis that's it I got a Peterbilt Peterbilt makes chassis. I got a international international makes you see where I'm going with this. Your engine manufacturers, your big three anyway. Detroit Detroit Diesel, Caterpillar, Cummins. You can have a Kenworth with a Caterpillar. You can have a Kenworth with a Cummins. You can have an international with a Caterpillar. You can have with a come. You can have a Freightliner with a Caterpillar. You can have it with a Detroit Diesel. You can have a Volvo tractor with a Volvo engine, a Detroit Diesel, or Cummins engine. You know, you're buying a package. You're buying a package. Allison makes transmissions. Eaton makes transmissions. Allison makes automatics. Eaton Road Ranger make standard transmissions. K 
Kenworth doesn't make transmissions. Peterbilt doesn't make transmissions. Volvo, Inter they don't make transmissions. They don't make differentials. Spicer make differentials. You see what I'm saying? Ro uh, uh, um, your Road Ranger, all the, they make differentials. Allison Chalmers, they make suspension setups. Hendrickson makes suspension setups. Spicer makes suspension setups. Ken, th th they're, they're taking parts. I'm taking a cat engine and uh, uh, Allison transmission with Spicer differentials and a Hendrickson suspension, and I'm putting it together on a chassis, and I'm putting it under a Ken, in a Kenworth wrapper, in a Kenworth body with a Fontaine fifth wheel on it. You get to choose your fifth wheel, man. I like Fontaine. Them the only ones I like. I love Fontaine. Fontaine two is okay, but I still, I'm still kind of stuck with the Fontaine one. That's the one I like. The original, no slack. The original Fontaine, no slack. But anyway, they like, what the hell is that? The truck guys know what I'm talking about. It's the same thing with computers. It's the same thing in the chip world, okay? It makes as much as six percent makes as much as sixty percent of the less sophisticated microcontrollers that car makers need as their vehicles become more automated. Uh, TSMC said it believes in the market. Uh, Thirty-five percent spokeswoman Nina Kyle refuted the idea that the world depends too much on one company. Well, of course you would. Uh, defeat. If I were you, I would refute it too. I, I <laughs> if I were you. Given the many areas of specialization in the world semiconductor uh, supply chain, I remember uh, Trump was trying to get—I can't remember who it was. I think they were moving to Arizona or something like that. But that deal went, got shot in a damn shot in the ass. You know what I mean? Uh, because you know he ain't in the big house no more. Okay. Uh, Taiwan said, okay, that's a picture there. That's a wafer. Yep, eight inch wafer. Yep. You would get a whole bunch. None of this stuff goes to waste. Morris Chang, he's the founder. Intel Tiger Lake chips. Uh, Tiger Lake, uh, Tiger Lake, uh, these chips, they're going in the CPUs for computers. The, the new Tiger Lake, uh, if you, if you're not in the tech, you like, what the hell is a Tiger Lake? Tiger, th th those are the chips that's going to go in the CPUs to run computers. Um, and, uh, AMD is called Ryzen and Intel right now is, a, is up to Tiger Lake. Okay. Okay. Taiwan, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the drought. Now, this is what I'm saying. This is a tinfoil hat argument. If you don't have a tinfoil hat, you, you don't want to follow me on stuff like this. You just don't. Because it a sound it it sounds off key and off colored, off kilter to some people. But you know y'all know me because I'm on certain certain things i'm enochian and in, in thought you know on certain things you know then you know nissi credentis non intelligences you know some things un un unless you know you won't understand and then uh, something else i tell people you know just the old <sighs> to simplify it to burn it down to nothing the old tree falling in the forest thing just because you weren't in the forest to hear the tree fall don't mean that it didn't make noise when it did. So there's a whole lot of stuff that you don't know. There's a whole lot of stuff that I don't know. But one difference that I say with me, I know that I don't know enough. I know enough to know that I don't know enough. I know enough to know there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. And by that, on that alone, I know that there are things out here 
that's happening and exist that I don't know nothing about. So just because I can't imagine it, just because I can't imagine it, don't mean it don't exist. Don't mean it don't exist just because I can't imagine it. Same thing with you. I tell people, if somebody 30 years ago would have said that you're going to have a phone that you can carry around in your pocket and you can make and uh, send and receive phone calls, send and receive text messages, and people will say, what the hell's a text message? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, what the hell's a text message? You, and you can access the internet. What the hell is an internet? Just because we couldn't imagine it then don't mean it don't exist. There's a whole bunch of stuff out here that's in the devel in development phase and testing phase that you can't even wrap your head around. Boston Dynamics, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, all them uh, spook calls flooding uh, 911 offices about this funny shape triangle thing with lights on the bottom of it in the Nevada desert and everybody was losing their effing minds. Then the government revealed, I couldn't believe George Bush let them do it on national TV. But then they're going to re uh, uh, reveal the the freaking um the freaking uh uh what's that f117 i think it is the the uh nighthawk yeah the f117 nighthawk the stealth fighter and everybody was like that's the thing that's what we saw that's what we saw and the government was saying we don't know what you're talking about police department we don't know what you're talking about now nah, the cops wasn't lying because they didn't know they didn't know no such thing existed. What are you talking about? It, uh, uh, it's a it's shaped like a triangle. Uh huh. It don't make any sound. Uh huh. And it just whoosh, across the sky, and then it almost goes from a dead stop. And next thing you know, it just it just it just whooshes by. And people like, okay, how much sauce? You know what I'm saying? How much sauce have you had tonight? But now you don't think nothing of it. You go, eh. But then that was a whole different thing. And they displayed it, opened it out to the world, rolled it out of that damn hangar, and everybody's jaw commenced to drop. I wasn't, I, I mean, I say, I ain't going to say I wasn't surprised because I was actually in, I was on active duty when this happened. I'm not in the Air Force, but I know the stuff that we do. You know, I say we, I mean, as a military community. Boy, and let's not even talk about the B-1 and B-2 bomber. Let's not, we ain't even got to talk about them. Anyway, here we go. Let's tie it all together. Let's see who can try to keep up. Everything is computerized. Ford has uh, uh, trucks sitting out in places by the thousands because they can't get chips to run the, uh, the computers and electronics. Truck manufacturing. I got a truck. I ordered a truck, a new truck, a big truck. I ordered a new truck in December. They said it might be here, maybe next summer. They got engines, got panels, steel, tires. They got all that stuff. Don't have computer, don't have microprocessors to control it. This stuff, they don't have it. Taiwan's worst drought in 56 years could worsen global chip shortage. It will because they need, they need fresh water. They need water. It's needed in, in the cutting in the cutting and skill the skin process. I'm not gonna go all all through it because it you it you go hmm, what the hell is he talking about? This is the worst drought in 56 years after the island was not struck by a typhoon in 2020 and experienced sparse rainfall. Lack of rainfall, far reaching, 
uh, impact than one might imagine the global chip supply. I know they start rationing water there where they got rolling water out. Uh, I ain't going to go over the stuff. Y'all already know. We didn't talk about TSMC, world's largest chip contracting maker. They make the chips for Qualcomm, Apple, uh, Android phones, you name it. They, they make it. You name it. Uh, with more people stuck at home, da da da, surge in demand, the the pandemic. I say this was a perfect storm. It's almost like it was on purpose and orchestrated. Hmm. Hmm. Make you think, don't it? <laughs> stuck at home, people buying stuff, game consoles. Well, I got. I'm stuck at home. I may as well get a damn uh, a decent TV. I'm stuck at home for a year. That shit, that crap was. I mean, they literally killed the nation with this pandemic. I don't see us ever getting back to where we were at. Uh, electronic gadgets, cars made, and plus, oh, the military industrial complex. They're gonna get their chips first. That's just the way it is. Raytheon getting their chips first. Boeing getting their chips first. Lockheed Martin, the skunk works. Why they call it the skunk works? Look it up. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. They getting their chips first. Boston Dynamics getting their chips first. Raytheon getting their chips first. Biden then, then made a... Uh, 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 then took uh, one of the head bosses from Ray from Raytheon, military man. I didn't talked about him. I done a video on him. I ain't even gonna rehash it. And now he works. Uh, he works for Biden. He's in the Defense Department. How about that? You think Raytheon ain't gonna get they shit first? Okay. Anything with chips is affected. Cars, smartphones, game consoles, tablets. Blah 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 blah. Now. To give you a better idea of how water intensive it is to create chips, TSMC uses 156,000 tons of water each day in their production. As a pillar of Taiwan's economy, hell, it's, it's the, the biggest thing driving Taiwan. Hell, they'd starve without this chip uh, manufacturer. It's prioritized the semiconductor companies over other sectors during the drought. This has caused some unhappiness among farmers who were forced to abandon their fields, which is sorry, they would rather have chips than food. Cause I get, we can sell the chips and the money we get, we can buy food from around the world. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I don't know. That's what they saying. That's just me. That's just my inner Enochian talking again. You can give us water for two days a week or one day. Farmers will find a way, but now they've completely cut out our water. Farmers can't find a way out. You're focusing entirely on semiconductors. A farmer in, I don't know how to pronounce that, told the BBC. Without any sign of heavy rain, more than a million households and businesses in Taiwan have been rationing water since April. Chip makers also had their water supply cut by 15% this year as water levels at two major dams in Taichung were only at 5% of their capacity. In response, TSMC has resorted to reusing water in their production and mobilized water trucks to deliver water to its facilities from other reservoirs in Taiwan. The island is now waiting for the seasonal plum rains to arrive. Local media report there could be heavy rains in the end of May. Climate change, you know they got to throw that in. Look, I ain't worrying about no climate change. I don't believe in that shit anyway. You can't, you, but I do, but I don't. I don't, it, it's not, it's not your plastic bottle. It's not your water bottle that's in the landfill. It that's not has nothing to do with it. I'm I guess this is a river or something. The water supply, hell, it's been go well. It's, they 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 in dire straits. But here's the deal, folks. Remember the deal that I was talking about the water drought in um, Arizona. I mean New Mexico. Was it New Mexico? 
No, Arizona. It was Arizona. Remember I was talking because I was talking about the uh, the uh, water, the freshwater generation systems that they have in nuclear submarines. You know how they, you know, the, go through the, uh, you know, I'll put the link for that if y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I just done that video not that long ago. And it, and it got the breakdown of how it's done in there. Okay. And we, there's so many we have, well, I mean, but those are our de decommissioned submarines and we're building more. Where basically it turns uh, salt, turns seawater into clean drinking water. Clean, desalinated, no salt, none, none of that other stuff. Distilled, wa distilled water. It turns it into distilled water. Now you wouldn't have to put the minerals back in it for for the uh, chip production, but you'd have to put the minerals back in for the water that's going to be made for human consumption. Because you drink distilled water for to, for too long, it will f you up. I'll let uh form runner and truth teller explain that part because they can do it way better than I can. I just know it'll f you up. That's that's what I know. All right, now here's the last step. Here's the last step. So now this should make sense to you. This is what I say is at the root. This, I can't prove it. I can't prove it. But remember, like I say, just because you can't imagine something or you... I can't believe that she would do that. Just because you believe she couldn't do it don't mean that she don't have the ability to do it or haven't done it. He, she, it. Drought in California, 20, uh, harp weather control, playing God. And, and yeah, uh, you, know, I don't, you know, you can keep your, you can keep your God. But anyway, Air Force, but and this is no bombshell. You can go through and read these stories. You can go through and just put harp weather control in the search engine of your choice and all these pull up. Uh, the Air Force, they admit they can control the weather. We've known this for years. Us that are paying attention. What is harp? And it's called because we say that's what happened in Texas. That's what we that's what we everybody down it. Well, not everybody down here. A lot of us was talking about it. Because we had the planes. We had the planes flying, leaving the chemtrails. Those weren't contrails. Those are chemtrails. We had them flying. Three days later, we got a 20-degree drop in weather, and next thing you know, we had one of the hardest freeze this far south in a long time. Well, why would they freeze Texas? Well, because that's where the border is, and they're coming through from Mexico, if we can stifle transportation, then people can get through. Number one, number two, I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. You keep everybody inside. You keep your heads down. Your power's out. You, you're under COVID anyway. But we're gonna allow everybody else to move because they ain't gotta play by the same rules that you do. We're gonna stop lumber. Well, we're gonna stop, we're gonna slow up. Uh, lumber transfer because lumber transfer comes right from Texas is going east to west and west to east. Keep telling y'all because Interstate 10 runs from Cal runs from San Diego, California, all the way to the east coast, and it runs right through the center of Texas. It runs right through San Antonio, and Interstate 35 runs from Mexico to Canada, and Interstate 10 and Interstate 35 they cross in San Antonio, and San Antonio was a block of ice. I told you you need your tin foil hat. I hope you put it on. That's where that's where we're at. You can read this here and say, "Okay, look. We're not the only one with harps. We're not the only ones with high frequency active oral research program telescopes." A telescope um uh, transmission uh, antennas. Excuse me. I said telescope. What the hell wrong with me? They're around the world. All right, y'all. This is the 
a map, a global map, where you can see all the harp ionis, ion, ionosphere heating stations that, you know, that don't exist. So this is all make believe boys and girls. <laughs> this is all entertainment <laughs> for that's Hey, that's my disclaimer. Let's go. Let's see where are we at. We're in Puerto Rico. Arecibo observatory. Six antennas across the, the, the dipoles. You see the frequency power consumption. Oh, and you can go to climateviewer.org, common spelling, climateviewer.org, to see these. These are harp stations, okay? Now, Millstone Hill, Massachusetts. I didn't know it was a harp station in Massachusetts. You do now. And if you go there, you can click here and go to their MIT Haystack Observatory website. All you got to do, you know, we say about putting SHIT in writing or putting a, a educated twist to anything, you know who ain't going to look at it because ain't no booties bouncing, no, tw no titties twerking, and no none of that other stuff. No smoke this, smack that. So that rules, that rules out 90% of, of black America. Vandenberg, this is at Vandenberg Air Force Base. There it is. There's an actual picture of the of the antenna array. What? You kidding me? Mm, yeah, no, I'm not. Let's go a little further south. What? I don't I can't even pronounce that. Jicamarca. Jicamarca, Peru. Incoherent scatter radar, radar. Look at this. This is a picture of the array. Look at that. It's beautiful, ain't it? This is the big daddy right here. You can't even fly over this joint. You think flying over area 51 to get you shot down. You see it? That's the, uh, the that's the, this, the big daddy in Gekona, Alaska. Look at the power of this station. Look at it. 180 antennas. Look how much power. It uses 3.6, um, uh, three, three million six hundred watts. Look at that. Look at the effect of radiated power. Look at this. Five gigawatts effective radiated power. You. Basically, the IRS was known as a phased array transmitter is designed to transmit a narrow beam of high powered radio signals in the 10.8 to 10 megahertz frequency range as antenna is built on a gravel pad having dimensions of blah, 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 180 towers, 72 feet in height. These are 72 feet tall. It's 180 of them, 72 feet in height. Mounted on thermal piles, da, da, da. y'all see it. Electric prime power is provided from an on-site power plant. Got its own power plant housing five 2,500-kilowatt uh, generators, each driven by a 3,600-horsepower diesel engine. Wrap your head around that. My heavy haulers, my big heavy haul truck to haul the dozers and all that other stuff, it got 600 horsepower. 600 these this place got 3600 horsepower diesel engines 
four generators are required for operation and the fifth is held as a spare. I'm telling you, this place is freaking huge. Anyway, y'all can check the details later. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, this is 30 miles northeast of Fairbanks, Alaska. Why do they want it so far north? Because it's easier to get it to the other side of the globe when you're at one of the ends towards the North Pole or the South Pole. It's easier to get a it's easier to go over the top than it is to go around the belt. It's shorter distance. Look at this. Plasma torch used for experiments and is hazardous. Well, look at look at this. Look. Look at this. Even got a little layout. How it goes. Satellite, observatory, rocket, a bi-static radar, phased array. They got the whole thing. It's hiding it is hiding in plain sight. Now, let's keep going. Resolute Bay, Canada, same thing. Not as powerful, but it's there. Y'all can check them out. This is probably stuff that you, Greenland. Steerable parabolic dish. Norway. Steerable parabolic dish. Of course, you know the queen. You know the queen can't be outdone. Hello, peasants. You will do as I say. Long live the queen. No, I'm just. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing bad to say about the queen, mom. Uh, nothing. Some might maybe other, but I don't. Uh, Kate, D. I don't want them black suburbans following me around. Uh, he, this is in Wales. There's a picture of their array. The Ukraine. Steerable dish. Looked like from the James Bond movie, remember? Russia. Duh! Das Vadanya. You know the Ruskies can't be outdone. Look at this. Now there, look at their wattage. Now compare it to ours. I mean, you know, we we are burn theirs up. Don't you know, f them. You know, forget them. Okay, let's. Ooh, come on, thing. Can you load a little slower? The American Heart is similar to the sewer facility. The Heart Project began in 1993 there. Okay, let me see. Let's make sure we ain't missing nobody. Trom Tromso Receiver Array. I'm quite sure there's some countries that ain't going to be wanting us to know about theirs. There's their dish. That's in Finland. The Finns. Oh, that's the same one. Sorry, y'all. Okay, wait a minute. Come on, son. Okay, another one in Norway. I think we done that one already. No, we didn't. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I ain't even gonna try. Must be an island. I, mu must be an island somewhere. They got a website. But this is just for geological research, y'all. We're gonna shoot stuff... Uh, Tadzikistan. Five country consortium operates the European incoherent scatter radar site. Eh. Gee, imagine that. Wait a minute. Details unknown. Well, it's China, of course. <laughs> it's going to be details unknown. It's freaking China. The Ukraine. Soviet Space Surveillance Station. Ah, okay. That's what, oh, that's what they call it now. India. Look at their antenna array. I say, if you can control the weather, you can control a whole bunch of stuff. Indonesia. 
but theirs don't seem to be nowhere near the monsters that that we have. Taiwan. Some they somebody need to get out here with a weed eater, get that out of there. Japan, you know they ain't gonna be outdone. Digi Multi-channel digital receivers was installed for the study of detailed structures of the atmosphere. Yeah. Y'all get what I'm getting at. Y'all get what we chopping at here. Look at all that water. Look at all that water. Now you trying to tell me we have droughts when you have, when you have uh, desalinization uh, plants so small and so powerful you can put them on a submarine and pump out 40,000 gallons of water. You know what I mean? On a submarine. I mean, 4,000 gallons on a submarine. Man, I'd have one right at my, I'd put my plant right at the damn coast and have my damn, have my pumps, uh, 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 have my deal set up right there. Notice you don't have any in Africa. None. You don't have any in Africa. You don't have none in Australia. You don't have none on Antarctica because it probably just freeze to freaking death none none on madagascar Ooh, what's this out here in the middle of nowhere the marshall islands gee i wonder who runs the marshall islands you can see it right there i guess that got to be a limited access thing due to the the radiation and everything whatever is still left anyway Use your illusion. Let your mind work for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? China trying to take over Taiwan. China been fighting, trying to get back Taiwan for the longest. Put it together, y'all. I ain't even going to say no more here for obvious reasons. Put it together. Bye. <laughs> Three, nine, seven, one, five. Three, nine, seven, one, five.